Hi guys, I'm going to be doing a review here. Um, I've never done a review, I don't think. And yes, I'm wearing Superwoman pajamas, or Wonder Woman, sorry. Um, and do not mind the redness in my ears, I was just changing my cartilage earrings. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Anyways, um... What? No. I'm going to be doing a review on the first and the second chocolate bar palette by Too Faced. I don't have the third because they are not in stock at my stores, which sucks. But I got this one for Valentine's Day last year. Um, 2015. I got this for Christmas 2015. So this is the newest one I've had. I've had it the shortest amount of time and my thing keeps shaking. So I'm sorry. My lips look so sloppy. Sit. Okay. So I'm wearing the first one on my eyes today. I could have incorporated both, but I didn't. But I'm wearing the first one today. Here, let me give you a rundown. Here is the first one. I didn't like the very first chocolate bar's packaging, how it's thick and chunky. I didn't personally like that, and I personally didn't care for a lot of these colors. Only I've cared for a few of them in here, and it's like this color. I never use this. I've never even. I don't know. I think I swatched it, but I don't use that one. This one is a color I like this one. I like cherry cordell, black forest truffle, semi sweet salted caramel, marzipan. I believe that's what that is. But. Yeah, I don't really grab for this one too much. Oh my god, I just dug my finger. Oh my god, I hate when I dig my fingers in shadows. Try to blend it out. Oh, okay, great. Um, so I just dug my finger in one of the things. So here's the second one. Side to side, side by side. I use this one way, way, way more than I ever use this one but then again this is new did I just break it no I didn't um so this one is an older but I still grab for this one more they need to make this a single shadow peanut butter it's my favorite one um this one my niece got into it and she dug her finger in that I was a little upset about that because I hate when my things are messed up but Ew, I can't believe I dug my finger in that. Oh my god, and let me talk about licorice for a second. This color is one swipe. That is intense. We're going to swatch all of them. Let me wipe this off. Let me get a clean start on my hand. Because I do have some eyeliner on here. I warm up my eyeliner before I do tight lining my coal pencils. Just taking a cotton round with some Marcel cleansing water, Marceller. I have no idea. So I just thought I'd do this before I get the third one so I don't have to do all three in one. <laughs> but yes, personally the best one, the one I love, one of the most used palettes is this by far, that's a nice sweet one. And like, it is so dirty. Like, I'm trying to clean it here, but it's dirty. So I'm just going to swatch them all. From, I'm going to do this row. I'm going to start off with licorice. Which I did not like how they did not have a black in the first palette. That was just ridiculous. That's a staple and it needs to have a white and a black. And here is coconut cream. 
I love this for all over the lid. It's just a nice creamy color. Nougat. I use nougat a lot to blend the transition color to the brow bone. So it's a nice even transition. Truffled. I love incorporating that in my smoky eyes. And I'm going to show you all the swatches when I get done. Hot fudge. I don't really use. But it's a great color. I like to use it if I'm going to do a shimmery black smoky eye. So here's the first row. There you go. You got starting from licorice, coconut cream, nougat, truffled, and hot fudge. As you can see, hot fudge has a blue undertone, I think. Yeah, it does. So there's that. Second row, we're going to go from here to here. Going to frosting. Another nice color. Um, when I was talking about this palette to the worker, when I was going to get it, she was like, yeah, I love Bon Bon. And she's like, I just love the blue. I was like, girl, that's not Bon Bon. Like, I cannot believe you do not know your job. <laughs> blueberry, I'm on peanut butter. And then now blueberry swirl. Um, blueberry swirl isn't as pigmented as I thought at all. I thought it was going to be more pigmented. Put in, putting a nice color I like to put that under it has like a gray undertone I put it under my lash line when I do a smoky eye pink sugar I think is the most useless shade out of them all like I can't even swatch it cause look I've swirled my finger in this like a dozen times like no it's not happening I think what it is meant for is a topper let me try to swatch it. And I've used it wet. Okay, so what this is is a topper because it comes off super glittery. I think that's a topper. Coco Chill, love that for smoky eyes as well. Has a little, has sparkle. This, these sparkles in here aren't chunky like the first palette. The first palette had really, really chunky glitters. But these are like nice, soft, iridescent shimmers so here you go you have right frosting no crap so you got frosting peanut butter blueberry swirl put in right here let's zoom it. let's get you close you see that shimmer that's pink sugar and then cocoa chill right next to it so now we're going to go up to Rum Raisin. Rum Raisin, a really nice shade. It's a cool tone. It has like a gray undertone and it's just a really nice color. Um, what color is that? It has a little purple, a little gray. I love mousse as well to do. I like blending. These colors are nice smoky eye colors to blend them together. I don't really use caramel that often. I don't really use bonbon bon that often. I stick with like, I don't really use the shimmery ones. I use the matte ones all the time, but I don't use shimmery that often. And then butter pecan. I love this for a cheek highlight. It's amazing. Watch, I got some left over in my hand. Okay, I put it on that side. Let's do this side. That's amazing. <laughs> so, here we go. We have, let me read the names for no reason, Moose, Kamal, Bon Bon and Butter Pecan. We've got Rum Raisin. Crap. Ew. Rum Raisin. Like, this is so impossible to show. Oh my god. God, my favorite color. Are you kidding me? My favorite color. I just dug my nail into it. This is like not just small little dent. This is deep. Oh my God, I think I'm going to see pan. Great. Um, let me just show you. We've got rum raisin, mousse, caramel, 
bonbon. And then this one is a little hard to see. It's Butter Pecan. It's the highlight shade. It's shimmery color. So here are those. Okay, now it's the second one. The first one, sorry. Um, like I said, not my favorite. I've never even swatched some of these. Like, I haven't swatched Guild Ganache. I haven't swatched that one. But I think that would be a beautiful smoky eye, to be honest. Got white chocolate, milk chocolate, one of my favorites. Black Forest Truffle, again, love that color. Triple Fudge, love. Salted Caramel, love. Mars the Pan, I'm wearing on my eyes. Um, salted Caramel as well. And then Cream Brulee, I'm wearing. And then Armoretto, I'm wearing. But, yeah. Let's swatch them. I'm going to swatch the, ooh, I got a migraine, Guild Ganache. Like I said, these are thicker, like, glitters or chunky. I don't care for the formula that much. White Chocolate is a favorite. Again, just love a staple white or cream color. And then they don't have a black in here. But... Trouble Fudge is pretty, pretty dark. Milk Chocolate, you can build it up to like a black, I think. Black Forest Truffle, again, thick, glittery. Just love the color, though. It's like very beautiful, plummy undertone. Triple Fudge. Like, these aren't as soft. These are powdery. These aren't as soft. I hope... I can't wait to get my hands on the new Bon Bon palette because I love the packaging. Salted Caramel. A favorite. Marzipan. Marzipan is soft like the second one. That's the textures I like. Semi-sweet is a nice dark color for smoky eyes. Strawberry Bon Bon have never swatched. It's the first time swatching. Chalky pink white color. It's exactly what it looks like. Chalky pink white color. No pigment rolling. Not really my shade. Candy violet. Chunky, glittery. Not a fan of. Uh, they're somewhat pigmented. They go on a little patchy. Like I said. Hazelnut. Beautiful color. I love it. I should have incorporated it in this look. I didn't think about it. Cream brulee. Isn't soft like hazelnut is. Um, but another beautiful color. Nonetheless. Hot chocolate. It has a gray. Like it's a cool tone color it's a cool tone color for hazelnut hazelnut's a warm tone cherry cordial beautiful color um i wish it looked like what it looked like in the pan but it doesn't and champagne truffle is my first time swatching it doesn't comes off very patchy and doesn't look good Okay, so we're going to go over them. Guild Ganache, Coconut Cream, Milk Chocolate, Black Forest Truffle, there we go, there we go, mm, Triple Fudge, sorry, then I didn't swatch Armoretto. There we go. Armoretto. Beautiful color. I mean beautiful color. Here you go. You got Armoretto. Candy. Candied Violet. Bon Bon. Can't even really see. Semi-sweet. Marzipan. Salted Caramel. Going down, going up, sorry. Hazelnut, cream brulee, 
um, hot chocolate, cherry cordell, champagne truffle. There you go, you can see it sort of. Like I said, personally, I'm more of a fan of semi-sweet. If you don't know what one to get, it's, you know, totally up to you and um, your preference. But I do recommend the semi-sweet one over this one. They are $42. They are a little pricey. But, to be honest, but one do I use the most? I do use semi-sweet one and I would buy a semi-sweet one over it. So, yeah. Um, let me do a little, let me look at them and compare something real fast. And try to make a point. Personally, if you're looking for a great palette, I would just buy the semi-sweet one and skip out on it. And if you want, like, if you're saying you're, you go to Sephora, what did I just say? Sephora? Or Ulta or something. Personally, I would buy the milk choc, the semi-sweet chocolate bar palette. I wouldn't buy the original, personally. In place of that, something that's way better in like everything to spend your money on, I would go with either the Lorac Pro one or two. Either one is great. Um, I got this one recently, so it's not used like this one, but as you can see, I used it up. Um, but either one's great, I personally say. I like the cool tone one better, but that's on your skin tone as well, so. I would skip out on it, but if you're like me and collect them and just, um, What's the word for it? Collect them, or if you do makeup on people, definitely I would invest in the first one as well. Um, but if you're like just starting off, buy the first one. Just buy the first one, and trust me, you'll fall in love with the sh with the Too Faced line, and you'll buy the second, the first one eventually. But if you're like, oh, I don't know what to get. Get the first one <laughs> and get the second one. Sorry. Um, the semi seat one is just the best and they wear really nicely. Both of them do. Um, but for a better texture, personally, the second one has just softer, more easy to blend and not as chunky. The shimmeries, the shimmers aren't as chunky and glitter. As you can see. They don't really stain, they come off really nice. Then again, I'm using Marcella cleansing water. But yes, here's the look I created with the first one. It's a very beautiful look, I think.